In this video, we are going to learn about how to communicate with an online MySQL database. So for establish a communication with an online MySQL database, we need some server space, we need some domain name, also we need an Android application to communicate with the database. So first we have to set up the server, we have to set up some server space and we have to get some domain name. So there is lot of websites are available that provide free PHP hosting and many of these websites provide free domain name also. So first you have to create an account on any one of these free hosting website. Also you have to create a free domain name. So here I already create some account on one of the free hosting website. Now here is the PHP my admin you can enter the PHP my admin through the control panel. So now here I created a database called the product. Now here I am going to add some table into this newly created database. So add a new table here with the table name product info. Now specify the number of columns. Now specify the column names first one is name and the length is 50 second one is email that is also same data type variable character size is 50 and the last one is mobile number it is also 50 and the same data type and click save now we add a new table into the newly created database the database name is product info and table name is sorry table name is product info and database name is product now we have to create some php script for add informations into the database so before going to write the php script we need some informations we need informations like the mysql host name uh, mysql database name uh, mysql username mysql password and domain name you will get all these informations from the hosting site. Okay, now open your favorite text editor. Now here I am going to write the PHP script. So first we are going to write the PHP script for established communication to the database. Uh, so first I am going to save this file. Save us. Save in desktop. Uh, there is a folder called the uh, PHP script with the file name init.php and save the type as PHP file and save. First we have to declare some variables. First one is host name. Uh, second one is MySQL username. Now MySQL password. Now the database name DB. Now we have to fill these informations. Okay, now I add all the needed informations. Now create a variable for established connections. Name it as CON and call the function called the mysqli connect first you have to pass the host name it is available on this variable called the host second you have to pass the username of mysql second one is password and the last one is database name Now we have to check whether the connection is success or not. So start some if loop. If it is not CON, in that case the connection is failure. So call the die function. Error in connection. And print the error message. For that, call the function mysqli
conduct error this function will print the error message otherwise the connection is a success so print some echo message put some line break add some h3 tag connection success and close the h3 tag ok so save this file so this the purpose of this PHP script is to establish a connection to the database so now we have to upload this PHP script into the file manager of the server now open up the file manager of the server space you can get the file manager through the control panel now open up the public HTML public HTML folder and upload a file the file name is init.php and open it now the file is init.php script is available on the server now we can touch this PHP script ok now copy the domain name here is the domain name and open your browser and paste it on the address bar slash init dot php it will show connection success so now we successfully establish a connection to the database through the php script now we have to add another php script for put informations into the database so open up the notepad plus plus again now here I am going to save us uh, with another file name and info.php and click save first we have to declare some variables uh, first one is name and get the information from the post method post with identifier name now the second variable is email post method with identifier email copy this one and the last one is mobile with identifier mobile now we have to create some SQL queries so declare another variable called SQL and specify some SQL query insert into our table name is product info product info values first one is name second one is email and the last one is mobile put the semicolon here and end this statement with the semicolon ok now we have to execute this SQL statement for that we have to call the function called the mysqli query here we need two variables first one is a connection variable and second one is the SQL statement so we already create the connection statement in another file called init.php so we have to add that file here so require init.php first we have to add the connection variable here here con is a variable available on the init.php file now specify the SQL query it is available on this variable called SQL now check whether the data insertion is success or not if this will if this return true in that case the data insertion is success echo put some line break add some h3 tag 
one row inserted and close the h3 tag otherwise there is some problem in data insertion echo error in insertion and print the error message my sqli error and pass the connection variable this will print the error message ok save this file again now we have to upload this file into the server so open up the file manager and upload this file choose that file add info.php open it click ok now the second PHP script is available on the server so we can now test this file so for test the second PHP script here I am going to add some simple HTML document so here I am going to save this one save us uh, it's a simple HTML document name it as uh, index.php and click save delete all these informations now create some simple HTML page uh, specify the header portion uh, put some title add some title add info now specify the body of this HTML document here add some HTML form and close the form here uh, now specify action for the form action equal to add info dot php and specify some method name the method is post ok now here define some html table uh, close the table here now add the table row first row here is the first table row and close the table row now specify the first table data that means the first column data it is name now specify the second column data it's an input and type is text uh, with the name name and close the input now copy this entire table row and put it here change this one into email change the name into email now we need another row also change this one into mobile and change the name into mobile ok now after the table element we have to add some button so add some input uh, type equal to submit uh, specify some value value equal to submit info and close the button ok save the document now we have to upload this HTML document into the server so open up the file manager and upload file choose file the file name is index.php open it and click ok now the file is available on server ok 
okay now copy the domain name copy the domain name open browser open a new tab and paste it here now this will open the index.html page this is the symbol html page uh, now we have to add some information uh, add some email put some mobile number and submit now it will show one row is inserted now we can test it out go to the php my admin select the table and browse the table now here is the information name email and mobile number so now we add the needed php script into the server now we, we have to create an android application to establish communication with the server i hope you understand the concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode